Over the last 40 years, I've been back in prison 10 times. It's purely my addiction that uh, continue to bring me back to prison. I will be out there in April. If you ask me if this can be your last time, I would say uh, this will be my last time. Can you believe that? I'm doing my best. And if I tell you I want to change, will you believe me? So this is B4, where most of the inmates come in towards the tail end. They will come here to go through this slew of program. All these programs serve only one aim for inmates not to come back. And uh, it is my duty and also my officer's duty to really to empathize and really to work uh, what is the best solution to smooth the re-entry to society. We have got cabinets made for seven. We have hangers sufficient to hang all our wet items. And over here is the two toilets. Um, there's room for everyone to share. At times when I'm free, I uh, you know, sort of uh, do some origami. You can see there are three cranes here. It's not allowed here. You tear it down when you come in, then you build, build it up again. They are sort of like uh, paper pets to me, and I give them names, happy, 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 so they are very happy. You know? So every time uh, I lay down, I can always look up and I see all the tails wagging. It gives me kind of a uh, sort of a therapy. You know? In 2000, my wife divorced me, not because of the sentence, but because of my repeated offences, my addiction especially, I'm seeking forgiveness and I'm trying to be as failure as possible. Hi Ma. Okay, well, too late. Okay. What the hell? I'll do it to you while he's not quiet. And she was saying, this visit card, I do not want to have them anymore. And that, that may be the last time. Din, can you unlock for me? Polim, you have an integrated criminogenic program, okay. so you can proceed down now. Now I would like to move on to the very last part of today's session. What are your thoughts about changing this time around when you go out in the near future? I think it's a, it's a kind of numbers kind of thing. Oh, it's full of a lot of years. So uh, I wouldn't say that there's much to, to actually spell success. I don't have a good qualification also. My education level is low. Coming in and out of prison, you can't say that you've actually worked. So, no job experience, no good qualification, frail and elderly, there will be limitation of employers and jobs out there. That's the reality of things. Sir. I'm very excited about to live here and feel nervous because I'm facing the community outside. 
and how is my doing outside for my job and for my health and everything. Changing this time is uh, I feel emotion, emotional. You feel uh, uncertainty about the future. Really, the truth I say, I'm not so sure about how I feel outside, but I will make it my best. And my parting words for everyone is don't lose hope. As, as I say this, I'm advising myself too. Because we are not perfect. This world is not perfect. So I think progress is more important than how I feel about changing this time. But what if I come back? What if I don't come back? Does that make me a better person?